Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about factoring trinomials. We're going to factor each completely. So if I was given this trinomial, x squared minus 15x plus 50. All right. So I have an a value of 1, which is great. So now I can ask myself this question. What two numbers multiply to be a 50 but add to be a negative 15? Okay. Since they multiply to be a 50 and add to be a negative, multiply to be a positive, add to be a negative, both numbers are going to have to be negative. So now I'm trying to think, what two numbers multiply to be 50? That might be like near 15. Well, 50, I instantly always think, uh, that's just how my brain works, I guess, 5 times 10. And luckily, I know 5 plus 10 is 15. So how can we make it so it works out? Well, a negative 5 and a negative 10. That's a 5 with a big Frankenstein head. Okay? So... We have negative 5 and negative 10. These two numbers will multiply to be a positive 50, but when I add them, I get a negative 15. So I can break this apart, like I always do, with an x in the front of our beginning of each parentheses, and then I plug in the two numbers we found, x minus 5 and x minus 10. And there we have it. Our final answer here that's factored is x minus 5 times x minus 10. So let's recap. We're given x squared minus 15x plus 50. Okay. Well, I have to ask myself this question. What multiplies to be a positive 50 but adds to be a negative 15? Both those numbers need to be negative. Negative times negative is a positive, but they add to be a negative number. <clears throat> so the two uh, negative numbers I was thinking of were negative 5 and negative 10. Negative 5 times negative 10 is a positive 50, but they add to be negative 5 plus negative 10 to be negative 15. And that Frankenstein negative 5. So, and it's Frankenstein, you can't see it. Well, I'm not explaining. Anyway. Um, so our final answer here, let's put in our factor form, x in the beginning, and then the numbers next to them, giving us our x minus 5 times x minus 10. 